Welcome to WebStyle Press. Monitor every activity on your WordPress site. Every time a post changes, a plugin gets installed, updated or uninstalled, a widget or menu changes, user is created, user is registered, user is deleted, user is added, user logs in or logs out, failed login attempt is detected, WordPress setting changes, theme or plugin changes, any file changes in WordPress, WooCommerce store changes or anything happens in your WordPress, you can get yourself notified about the change. This is huge and a must-have plugin. Audit WordPress security yourself and monitor what is going on with it. It's got benefits. It can ensure user productivity and accountability on user-based site. It can help in troubleshooting WordPress because anytime when site breaks, you will know exactly what triggered it. You can spot suspicious behavior in your site immediately. So these are three benefits right there. This is a must-have WordPress security plugin. Keep track of all changes on WordPress. Go to Plugins, Add New, search for WP Activity Log. This is the plugin. Install and activate. After installation, it will ask you to run the wizard to configure the basic plugin settings. Yes. Start configuring the plugin. So choose the level of details, basic or geek. I will select the geek because I want everything. Next, do you or your users use other pages to log in to WordPress other than the default login pages? No. Can visitors register as a user on your website? Yes. How long do you want to keep the data? Okay, six months. Next. Monitoring changes done in third party plugins. No, I do not want these right now. These are extra. Finish. Okay, we have got this. WP activity log, log viewer. This page will log all activities that are going on in your site. Now I will change a few things inside and see how this log is updated. Right now there is just one activity log. Plugin that was activated and plugin was this same plugin. Okay. Log out. Login. That was failed attempt. Login, go to activity log, and you see failed login, user logged in, user logged out. Okay, let's go to plugins, install plugins, and let's go to posts, plugin. Let's activate this plugin, refresh the activity log, and you see this activated the plugin. And then this is post. This is test post edit it. Update. Reload. And this change modified the content of the post test post. View the content changes, view the post and editor, and this is the URL. It logs the IP address, it logs the object that was modified or affected, plugin user, user plugin, and event type modified, opened, activated, login, failed attempt, and by user. Who was the user who made this change? And we've got dates here. Time is being logged and severity of the event is being displayed here. We can see this in grid view. 
we can see this in list view we can change certain aspects of this plugin let me show you settings so these are settings let's go to settings and from general you can even hide this plugin from list of installed plugins if you are the admin and there are other registered users inside that can see the installed plugins but you just want to monitor site changes in stealth mode you can do that then we have got settings for activity log viewer we can choose the time for which log will be retained we can choose to delete all log after a certain period of time automatically we can choose to delete old log data by clicking this button purge old data we can select the columns to show or hide in activity log we have got settings for excluding objects from here you can choose to exclude activity for certain areas users ip addresses and more from here we can reset plugin settings or delete all activity log reset settings and purge all activity log from here Purge all log and go to log viewer and log has been deleted. And now let's go to enable disable events area. This is enable disable events area. Here is all possibility in WordPress that can be controlled. Turn on or off notifications or log for individual areas in WordPress. We have got user logins and session events, content and comments related events. In content related events, we have got notification settings for content, for tag, for categories, custom fields, ACF, comments, widgets and menus. We have got user accounts related notification settings. We have got plugins and themes related notification settings, WordPress and system related settings, and there is more. There are child tabs that have more settings. We can control notifications and select only notifications that we need. So it's a good security plugin for WordPress, a must have for WordPress security. Do install it for every site and be aware of what is going on with any area of your site. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.